Yeah, hi everyone. So today we'll see generating a bubble chart in SAS. So let's go through its SAS program. Okay, so to have a basic understanding of bubble chart, it's very similar to scatter chart, but it usually has three values instead of two. So we'll have here X, Y, and Z. That means three data points where the third value uh, determines the size of the bubble marker, which is my Z. It is used to represent the financial data. And this chart is used when you want to present the data in different bubble sizes, when the data has negative values and when you have the multiple data series. Now here it's a very simple example. Like say I have a retail data example. I have a department called as uh, bakery products. Then we have the category as cakes. And these are the following list of subcategories and the few KPIs. That means key performance indicators. So here we have total sales, total units and total customers as my KPIs, which are my key performance indicators. So let's go and see its respective SAS program. So this is a very basic, simple syntax for a bubble chart via the SG plot procedure, right? So I'm giving here the title as bubble chart for total customers by total sales and total units. So I'll be using procedure called as SG plot. I'll be using data is equal to retail, which is the uh, retail data example, which uh, you just uh, saw in the earlier slide. Bubble is my statement. X is my total sales. My Y axis is my total units. And the size of the bubble is my total customers. So I will use the run statement. So this is the very general syntax for bubble chart via SG plot. So try using this uh, data example and try uh, running this general syntax. You will yourself uh, get confidence as to how to uh, generate the bubble chart. Now, here is the exact example for um, generating the bubble chart for retail. So what I have done here is I have mentioned a comment. The title goes same as bubble chart for total customers by total sales and total units. So again, I'll be using proc gplot data equal to retail. Retail is nothing but the data set name. Uh, that has data related to the example which I had shown in the earlier slide as an example in a table. No auto legend is an option where it suppresses the legend. It will not show the legend in the chart. Bubble is a statement where my x axis represents total sales, y axis represents total units. The size of the bubble is my total customers. I'll be using black slash for the various other options that I would like to see in the bubble statement. So in this bubble statement, I can use the advanced features and the options called as group, which is equal to subcategory. And this assigns the color to bubble for each subcategory, right? And then if you want the data labels, you can mention data labels equal to subcategory. If you do not want data labels, you can skip this piece of code. Transparency is equal to 0 0.4. You can adjust the transparency here by one or two and you can yourself see the changes. The data label attributes is like say the size is nine and the weight is equal to bold. So all these are the uh, these group data label transparency and the data level attributes. They are the options uh, advanced that you can be used in the bubble statement. Now, if I want to define the insert for graph, I will use the insert statement. Then I will write the title as uh, bubble size represents total customers. Then this insert for the graph, uh, meaning if I want to write something inside the chart, or inside the graph, I'll be using the inset 
statement. This instant statement also again has advanced features and we'll continue this by writing the title and using the backslash important. Uh, it's very important to use this backslash. Otherwise, these options will not work. So we'll write position is equal to bottom right. So I want the insert that means this title to be seen inside the uh, graph and the position is bottom right. You can write top left right or top right or top left or whatever options that are available in the position uh, option. Then you can use text attributes that is size equal to 11. So through these uh, attributes, uh, you can control the size and you can also control the weight. So you can also, uh, if you want these text uh, to be in bold, you can continue writing weight is equal to bold and then you can see its respective change. Then I'll use um, y axis is equal to grid and x axis as grid. It specifies the grid uh, at the major and the tick marks in the specific chart and the graph. So this is the bubble chart uh, SAS program for the retail data example, which I had shown in the earlier slide. So try running this and let me know in the comments if this works or um, if there are any changes that you would uh, like to see or if you can play around with this piece of code and see whether you are able to generate the bubble chart. So this is how the bubble chart will look like where the total sales is in dollars, total units is in thousands and uh, bubble chart for total customers by total sales and unit. Uh, remember this, this is just a physical um, chart. If you have mentioned no auto legend, then this legend will not come in the graph. So if you skip that no auto legend, if and if you want to see the legend, you can write um, as only legend, then this legend will come. So as you see, these are the size of the bubbles and the maximum bubble size is related to this green color, which you see, which is related to cake cream cream goods right so this cake cream goods is having the maximum number of customers by sales and by units this is how you interpret a particular bubble size so i hope um, things are a bit uh, clear in uh, in understanding the concept of bubble chart uh, generating in sas software so here I would like to thank each and every one of you for uh, watching my channels and stay tuned to my channels for more exciting videos. So again, I would like to emphasize this since I have started receiving comments related to SDTM, Adam and creation of specs. So I'll be continuing with that. Along with this, I'll be again uh, sharing the statistics training, the SAS training and the little bit of articles if I see if I can present in the best way so that the major audience uh, can have a look at it so thank you guys for uh, watching my videos